Hi, good morning, thanks for being with us again. This is Lester Elam YouTube and my name is Pastor Dave Holmes. Uh, you can check us out on our Facebook if you like or our website. Uh, great to just spend a few moments with you. You know, I was thinking and saying the other day about don't be conformed to the image of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I want to talk about something else to do with that, really. I want to talk about and share about not being conformed to the image of this world. Just at this moment, it doesn't matter where you go. People are talking about the virus, understandably. But have you noticed that it's easy to get drawn into the negative talk around it? It's easy to get drawn into being very negative, very insular um, and and soon our, our words become drawn into other people's conversations and so it can be with other things you know when people begin to talk about things you know what's our attitude um, if people are talking negative do we tend to agree with them or do we keep our silence or do we come with an encouraging word. You know, words are very powerful, aren't they? You know, the word of God tells us that uh, our words, our tongue, has the power to bring life or death. It has the power to encourage or discourage. It has the ability to give praise. And it has the ability, I don't know, to slander. Um, it, it's a very powerful little part of our body isn't it you know we use that little statement don't we sticks and stones might hurt my bones um, but calling will not hurt me it's not true it's not true is it words stick in our mind words get replayed in our mind what people say about us you know the word of god has a lot to say on this subject really let me just read one or two scriptures to you uh, 1 Peter 3 verse 10 it says whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech Colossians 4 6 it says let your conversation be always full of grace seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer anyone full of grace that's interesting isn't it grace what is grace it's sometimes not giving the answer that people deserve that's grace <laughs> because god didn't give us the punishment we deserve did he you know and grace grace enables us to bring um, an end to an argument an end to a negative discussion so colossians there says let your conversation be always full of grace big challenge for all of us seasoned with salt that you may know how to answer everyone ephesians 4 29 says do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen you know we have the ability to encourage or discourage to to build or to pull down you know, let us be people that encourage each other to go on in God. Encourage each other um, in the way that we walk and the way that we talk in this case. You know, let us be people that, that use our mouths wisely. I don't think Jesus uh, ever used his, used his mouth unwisely. Were there times when he didn't agree with what was happening yes but it primarily was around the pharisees who um, who said one thing and i guess so often acted differently you know our mouths are very very powerful aren't they i want to encourage you this morning in god i want to encourage you to um, think about your speech think about how we can encourage each other on in God. Think how we can build each other up. Think how we can strengthen each other. You know, we all get a little bit down, don't we? 
Why not do something in the way of ringing somebody up and saying, let me encourage you in God. I know this time's been difficult. I know this time's been hard. But we're together and we're in this together. Let me encourage you to keep going. You're doing a great job. And, uh, you know, folks that have had to isolate for a long time and maybe will have to for a bit longer. I want to commend you. I want to commend you for your faithfulness. I want to commend you for your heart. I want to commend you for the way that you have conducted yourself. Well done. Well done, guys. And uh, we miss each other, don't we? But let us encourage each other in God. Let us build each other up. Let us strengthen each other. And the word of God says, let us do that all the more as the day of his appearing comes. So let us be wise enough to encourage each other and build each other up. It's easy, so easy to speak negatively, isn't it? You know, I want to speak over your life this morning and I want to bless you. And you've heard me say this many times, but I say it with, with truth from my heart. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And give you is peace. See you soon. Take care. God bless.